Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I hope you all had a glorious weekend. Weekend's not over. You still got today to go out and enjoy yourself. It's raining here in Maryland, but the rain shouldn't stop any show, right? So, let me get started on my Dollar Tree haul, some things that I found. Now, I've been seeing this Oxy Maximum Action hauled all over the place, and it's in abundance at my Dollar Trees in my area. Um, I didn't pick any up, didn't need it. Well, I've been needing it. I have this, like, bump, these two bumps that just won't go away. So I'm definitely going to give this Oxy Maximum Action Acne Medication a try. It's 10% benzoyl peroxide. The expiration on the bottom of here is not till 2019. I just had my glasses. Where did I put them? Oh, they're somewhere in this abyss. But nevertheless, um, yeah, I think that says April 2019, so... I'm good to go for a little while. No, is that September 2019? Thank you. I put on my breast cancer reading glasses. But, yeah, so September 2019. And um, I hope it kills whatever's going on on my dang on right side of my face. So, I um, picked up some more of the Biscolata. Now, these actually have a best before date of April 17, 2018 on them. But they are the Lemon Biscolata Pia. These were delicious. Um, I think we both, everyone here in the house, right? We preferred the lemon yeah. over the orange. Okay. So, these were good to go. Grab some more. It's not a lot you get in there. It's probably about maybe nine, ten cookies. I can't remember the count. But they're really good. So, I wanted to try these shortbread cookies. I mentioned before in a video that I love shortbread. And these are McGinnis Scottish Style Shortbread Fingers. Let me show you how they come. These are pretty good. I think these are just as good as any other shortbread cookie I've tried. I've tried some really gourmet shortbread cookies that have a really nice butter taste. But these do have a butter taste. These remind me of like the ones in the blue tin. Um, so they come in these little packs. It was four of them in here and they are these little fingers like this. And I already ate one pack and I believe that there are four packs in a box. So there are four packs of these in a box. I would say don't hesitate to try them. They'd probably be great with coffee or tea, some nice little warm bread beverage. Okay, um, I found you all some English muffins at the Dollar Tree in Central Avenue. This old time English muffins by Schmidt. You get six English muffins. We do enjoy English muffins. And I'm sorry, I, I think I told you the date on those um, Scottish fingers. The date on, no, the date on the back of this box says best before December 10th, 2018. So you've got a nice, um, decent shelf life on these as well. Um, but these English muffins, let's see, I can't even read the date on here. It's all smeared, but I picked these up the other day. They feel nice and soft, and I'll just toast the English muffin in the morning and put some orange marmalade or some type of preserve on them. So I was really surprised to see these Kellogg's Raisin. Um, these are the, what do you call these boxes? The, not the trial size, but... They're, this is a little four-pack. I forgot what you call these little small packs of uh, cereal. But it's a four-pack of Kellogg's Raisin Bran. And I need some Raisin Bran in my life. Just, you know, I've been trying to do steel-cut oatmeal in the morning. It'd be good to have some bran as well. And then I knew the kids would enjoy these Kellogg's Crispic four-pack. Um, and these are, let me tell you, 0.81 ounces of the Crispix and 1.52 ounces of the Raisin Bran. Um, and let's see. I wanted to show you the date on those. Is that a date on the top of the box? Yeah, March 13th, 2018 for the Crispix. Oh, is that upside down for you? And then there's January 4th, 2018 for the Raisin Bran. All right. Would not believe that I found Cool Whip in the Dollar Tree. And this was the Dollar Tree in, was this Landover? I think I found this. So Cool Whip, original Cool Whip. We have been eating this. Now look, when frozen, used by December 12th, 2018. We've been eating this on vanilla pound cake with strawberries and banana and some of that drizzle brittle from the Dollar Tree and caramel. This has been so good. Yes, we've been doing it up with this Cool Whip. And let me move on to some other items. Oh, I have, I think, one more food item. And that would be this Barilla Sweet Peppers. Um, the Largo Dollar Tree had this. Of course, when I find this, I don't have my Barilla coupon. I've been holding on to that coupon, carrying it around, and 
didn't have it on me yesterday when I picked up two of these bottles of Barilla Sweet Peppers um, All Natural Spaghetti Sauce. So I love Barilla. You know, Barilla's a great brand. So you'll want to try to make sure that you definitely, if you have a coupon for the Barilla Sauce, you have it with you when you go to the Dollar Tree. You might find those. All right, so I picked up some nails um, because I do have um, YouTube friends, Instagram friends that have told me they're looking for nails. So the Sassy and Chic Fashion Nails, I picked up this design in the black, gray, and white. I also picked up this design um, in the pink and the gold. I, this is a repurchase. And then I don't think I, I can't remember if I ever grabbed these, but Impress Nails also had a design like this. So this beautiful pinkish orange color, this very neutral, really nice with the polka dots. So I picked those packs up. Not for me. I don't do the Sassy and Chic fashion nails. Every time I put on glue, it irritates my um, nails. So it irritates my cuticles. And I did find this Vix non-drowsy clear quill. It's 12-hour nasal decongestant moisturizing. It's a half fluid ounce. So this is a spray for your nose. So check this out. Keep Be on the lookout for these in your Dollar Tree. And the date on here is April 2018, if you can see that. Yep, so they have these in there. You might actually see a coupon, too, in the paper for the uh, Vix Day Quill product, so Clear Quill product. And this is by Crafter Square. These are glue sticks, 15 pieces. They are tiny, but they're glitter glue sticks. So you get them in red, blue, green, and gold. Do I see any silver in there? Is that a silver? No, I think that's gold, too. Oh, that's a silver, yep, and some silver. So you get all of those colors in here for the Crafter Square 15 glue sticks. And again, these are the smaller ones. These are not the very big ones. So I cannot remember seeing the green Rose Collection candle, New York. This says Ocean Mist. It has a nice light scent. I didn't buy this to burn. When I burned these candles before the blue one, they didn't have a strong throw. This is just really for decoration in the bathroom. And then I did pick up one of these Old Williamsburg Fresh Balsam Scented Candles. I do want to try this. Mm, not too strong of a throw for me right now, cold. But I do want to try this. I want to burn this one. I was really happy to find these solar window candles. I thought these were so cute. I always put candles in the windows around Christmas, the ones you have to plug in. And these being solar, I thought they were perfect. So I picked up four of these to put in the upstairs bedrooms. And... I found these wipes, and my son is obsessed with making sure because, you know, he, I mean, he's five, but he's big boy, um, and so he's really obsessed with kind of making sure that he wipes himself properly in the bathroom, so I picked up these kids flushable 50 wipes for him, and I know they say that these, you should just not put these in the toilet, period, anyway, um, I don't know, I've been kind of just, it's habit now, we use these flushable wipes, so... It's always great to watch other people's Dollar Tree hauls because I did see Lemonade Mom haul these. And my son said he pointed these out to me one day and I kept on moving. So these are the Haribo Star Mix. Um, Lemonade Mom showed these. And it's just a mixture of all the different ones. So like you have the worms in here, the rings, the gummy bears. It's just a mixture of all the different Haribo. So we'll give these a try. And then this was my favorite theme. When it came to all of the oven mitts and pot holders that I saw on the Dollar Tree. So I picked up the Jingle Bells theme. And this is the one I really liked. So I have one oven mitt and I have two pot holders. And, yep, I had to grab it when I saw it. I heard this was the hot item for the Dollar Tree. And then I thought, yeah, this is pretty cute as far as, like, um, this box with the red truck. It says, Merry and Bright, Let It Snow. I just thought it was really cute to put cookies and brownies in for the holiday season and give them as a gift. So, picked up one. Yep, my Dollar Tree has them. And then I also picked up this cute penguin wrapped up in the lights, in the Christmas lights. Thought that was really cute, too. And it goes the side of the box. And I'm sorry if I didn't show you the side of the box for the uh, truck. There you go. And then, I think I saw, it was Nicole Burgess haul these a while ago. So these have finally made it to the Dollar Trees out here. These are the White Cloud Baby Wipes. Lightly scented, cotton soft cloths. Keep baby wipes. Keep them because of the kids. We're in the car eating. And then, the last item, let me be correct, that I picked up. Yep, I think so. Well, second to last. Um, first I picked up these brain treat, brain teasers. So three different kinds of brain teasers. Thought these would be cute for just, you know, Christmas time. 
we're not doing anything big this Christmas, but it'll be nice for the kids to have little type of stocking stuffer items. And then this birthday card for my nephew Noah in Idaho. He's going to be turning 10 November the 5th, so I wanted to get him this card. It says, hope your day's cool for you. Well, you're turning 10. Hope your day's cool for you. And hope it's filled with all the fun, happiness, and cake you want. Happy birthday. So I got to hurry up and get this in the mail. And then also, so you know, the side bricks. Um, those side bricks are pretty expensive, um, as far as they're still being sold at Walmart. Let me grab one and show you. Taking a quick detour. Sorry. But these right here, these sick bricks, I'm calling them side bricks, excuse me. These sick bricks are actually, and even the ones that we now have in the Dollar Tree right now, are still being sold in Walmart, and on Walmart, I should say online. So I'm going to uh, give you, leave you a picture at the end of this of the sick bricks and the price. But they're like $6, I think, and 97 cents right now at Walmart. So if you see these at your Dollar Tree, pick these up. I'm going to send three of these to Idaho for Noah. So Because these, what I saw was great is when you actually go online after you take a picture of this, you can play this as a video game. And those who like Minecraft and stuff, it looks just like that. See there on the back. All right? So, you guys, I hope you have a great Sunday. Make it a great one on purpose. And we will be talking very soon. I'm coming to you with the Dollar Tree video on the coupons I've cut out for the Dollar Tree. And um, if I found any of those items, take care.